Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Akimi Nicole. And if you are not subscribed already, I'm gonna need you to click that button down there and subscribe, okay? Click that bell, okay? Click it, I'm waiting. Click that bell so that you get all of my notifications every time I post. I am not going to do a hair video today. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Invisalign. I have Invisalign and I had it for about almost a year. June will make one year that I would have had my Invisalign. So I'm gonna be telling you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. So if you are interested, just, you know, stay tuned, you know, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with just the gist of how the whole process went when I first got started. I've been wanting braces since I was about 18. Um, but once I really started wanting them, um, insurance didn't cover it anymore. So it was no longer a necessity, but now it was like a cosmetic want or desire. Um, insurance no longer covered it and, you know, I just went on with my life. But once I realized that, you know, it was one of my biggest insecurities, I decided that since, you know, God has blessed me to be able to you know pay for it and get it that i will take advantage and i would do it this is how the process went um i went to the dentist i told them i told him you know my interest in invisalign and that i wanted to proceed and go on with the process so first thing he did was take x-rays of my teeth and then he sent the x-rays to invisalign they are supposed to say like if you're eligible if you're an eligible candidate for Invisalign, and if you are, they will go on with the process. If not, then I guess you would get res regular braces. I honestly don't know. I got the okay, and then I went back to the dentist, and they did my molding. Once they did the molding, they sent it to Invisalign, and Invisalign created a 31 um, tray program or treatment for me so 31 trays is um basically two weeks per tray so 31 times two is what 62 so 62 weeks and then if the process if i need to have it in longer then i guess they'll create more trays anyway um once my molding came back they put the trays in and the process began every two weeks i changed my trays and that's how it goes the reason why i wanted invisalign or braces is because my teeth are crowded and although some people not, might not really notice it and really it might not be a big deal to some people i think when i see myself from certain angles certain profiles i did not like the way my teeth looked when i smiled i was like i'm gonna get it i know it seems kind of vain but if you want some if you want to fix something about yourself why not fix it I guess we could start off with the good, right? I think we could start off with the good. Let's start off with the good. Okay, so here are some things that I feel that are um, good things about Invisalign and a reason why I would recommend you to get them if you decide to. So first things first, they are really invisible, okay? No one noticed that I have Invisalign, like nobody. When I talk, nobody notices. It's really invisible. So I really appreciate that part. There are no wires. There are no rubber bands. There are just buttons. I have buttons in my teeth, which you really can't see unless you're really close to me. But they're buttons and they do basically the same exact thing that rubber bands do. But other than that, you cannot tell that I have braces in or I have any tra trays in. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys how the trays look so the trays and i'm about to put them in because i just wanted to take them out so that you can see how i put them in they're very easy to put in um so so they're easy to apply they're easy to use you know another thing that i like there are less dentist appointments so what i have is these trays this is week i have in week 23 and in two weeks well i have one more week left with these in two in one more week i'll be changing it to 24 and right here it tells you 
how many weeks you have to go. So I have 31 weeks or 31 trays, which is 62 weeks. My dentist gives me four trays so I don't have to see him for eight weeks. So less dentist appointments. Another thing I noticed was it keeps my teeth so much whiter. I guess because everything I drink, um, either it's tea or juice or Slurpees or whatever, um, it protects my teeth and my teeth just seem so much more whiter and I just love it. I feel like I have like a Colgate smile already. It also forces me not to eat junk food. It forces me not to eat a lot and not to eat junk food. And also I am a night snacker. So once I brush my teeth, floss and brush my teeth for the night, there will be no snacking. Honestly, a lot of people are worried about like, oh my gosh, what does it feel like to have plastic in your mouth all day? But honestly, it becomes a part of you. I know that sounds so weird, but it really does become a part of you. Um, I actually feel weird when I don't have them in. I'm like, oh my gosh, where's my teeth? Like, <laughs> where's, where's my braces? Where did I put them? And I lose them sometimes, you know. Sometimes if I wrap it in paper towel, I throw them away by mistake. So don't do that. They give you a case, but I'm just... I'm just lazy. So those are the good things and I see improvement already. I wish I would have started. I'm going to start now tracking the progress, but I wish I would have started at the beginning so you guys could see, but I can already see like a difference. All right, so let's start with the bat. Listen, one thing that you're going to get, whether you get regular braces or you get Invisalign, is that this thing hurts there's no way getting away from it they hurt so bad so the first when you get your new trays the first two or three two to three days is so painful it literally feels like somebody punched you in your jaw what i do is when i have a new tray i sleep at night and i try to go to sleep so i can sleep the pain away i don't know what kind of logic is that but i don't know it works for me so they hurt for about this first two to three days it feels like somebody punched you in your jaw so the pain starts to ease up after like five or six days and then it feels regular kind of after that that first week it hurts to eat too like it's painful to take them out you're like cringing as you take them out because it hurts so bad it's like someone took your teeth out and then like plugged them back in it, it, it literally feels like you have new teeth. So when you take the trays out, it's like painful. And then when you try to eat, it's sore. So it's like you're trying to eat with new teeth, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But it's literally like you're trying to chew down on new teeth and your bite is off. So you know when you bite down, your teeth connect. When you wear the braces after a while, your teeth start to shift. So your teeth no longer fit in the same it's like a puzzle piece it no longer fits though so you're kind of like chewing in this weird kind of way trying to get your teeth together i hope this makes sense and then if you decide or you forget to put your braces back in if you leave them out for like if it's that first week if you leave them out 20 minutes when you put them back in it's really tight but after like this first week into the second week when you take them out it takes about an hour and then after an hour when you put them back in it feels tight again so don't let them stay out for too long another bad thing is we live in this world where we like instant gratification okay we want to see the difference right now like we want to see change right now this ain't it if you want to see change right away this is not it all the pain that you go through it's like the slightest movement ever like to the point where if somebody did not know you well or didn't see you every day or didn't look at your teeth every day they wouldn't even know that your teeth is moving so i think only i can tell my teeth is moving and my friend alicia dental hygienist a soon to be dentist she can tell she she tells all that stuff my teeth were so crowded that this tooth right here you couldn't even see like now i can see it but before you could not even see this tooth and when i used to floss i had to like struggle to get the floss between those teeth but now it it runs through like butter baby like 
with ease. So if you want instant gratification, this is definitely not it. It's very easy to fall off. Like, I think one weekend I was partying a lot and I didn't wear my braces for the whole weekend. I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't wear my braces for the whole weekend. But I got my act together after that weekend because, sis, the money still come out your bank account whether you're wearing them braces or you're not wearing them braces. That goes into my other bad thing. It's expensive, okay? Expensive. Listen, Cardi B did not lie when she said what she said, okay? They are expensive. And because they are so expensive, you gotta make sure you put those trays in as soon as you finish eating and you make sure you keep up with them trays. Don't throw it in a garbage by accident like me. Don't do that. Keep up with your trays. So altogether, it cost me about $5,000 and that's including the consultation, the molding and all of the trays. And every time I go visit the doctor or the dentist to make sure that everything is moving correctly, um, I don't have to pay copay, everything is included. <laughs> it's not cheap, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's very expensive. $4,500 to $5,000 I think I paid. And every month I put, I do installments so it would have been cheaper if i would have put it like a down payment on it but i didn't put any down payment on it i decided that i was just going to pay it out for the duration of the time that i had my um braces in or the treatment was going because there's no interest so now it's time to get into the ugly and these things are kind of not really deal breakers um like the other things but these are just saying some things i've noticed now that i have the braces in so <laughs> ugly num number one the ugliest of them all <laughs> these things make your breath stink yes so when you take them out um you when you take them out to brush your teeth brush them as well do not let them sit in listerine for too long because i did that and my tray started to turn blue so don't do that it's just use a clean toothbrush and clean them off and they'll be sparkling and they won't smell another thing i noticed is that i drool now I definitely drool on my pillow when I'm sleeping, especially those first couple days when my jaw is killing me, I drool. So that's not really cute. That's that's pretty ugly. And also when I put new trays in, I have a lifts. Like you probably can't notice now because I'm a couple of days in with these trays, but um, yeah, you kind of have a lifts. Or maybe it's because of me. Yeah, it could just be me because at the beginning, I was cutting my tongue up on the on the plastic because I push my tongue into my teeth when I talk. So, oh, I push my tongue into my teeth when I talk. <laughs> tongue twister. So the tip of my tongue, I even have a cut on the tip of my tongue because of it. And sometimes when I talk, I kind of like spit, spray, say it, don't spray it, that kind of thing when I first put my trays in. So yeah, it's not cute, but it's just inconvenient because I have to take them out every time I eat. Even when I go out to eat, like some of my friends I'm, are like, really close so now i could kind of like get a napkin and pull them out when I'm, we're out to eat right there but like we, if you want a date you don't want to pull out your teeth like you old and like you have dentures so you gotta go to the bathroom take them out go back to the bathroom put it back in it's just like uh it's kind of weird kissing with them in your mouth because <sighs> it's weird kissing someone with plastic in your mouth that's just it it's just weird but i'm not about to take out my braces to kiss okay you can feel this plastic all in all that's basically it you know i hope you guys learned something from this and i hope you guys either made your decision or this helped your decision to whether you were going to get braces or whether you was deciding not to get braces either way i hope this information was helpful to you well, i hope you like videos like this um where i get to share with you guys my insecurities and how i'm getting over it and i will do a full video about that i also want to take you guys through my journey of my skincare like Make sure you watch my mask Mondays while well, I'm battling with the adult acne now. So that is a journey I'm on that I want to take you guys with me because this guy, is, he seems to be along for the ride. So, but if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and make sure you click the bell notification so you get all of my posts and make sure you follow me at Akimi Nicole underscore on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video.